Hi, welcome back to Carwath Customs. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, what I'm showing you here is a, a DIY case annealer or uh, do it yourself case annealer. Uh, there are plans out there to make these out of uh, uh, three quarter uh, plywood or uh, particle board. Uh, this one here, what I made is made the cabinet itself is made from uh, 11 gauge uh, hot rolled steel. You can use cold rolled steel. Uh, you can even use uh, some aluminum, uh, depending on what kind of welder or what kind of skills you got. Um, to kind of go over this, uh, what I did is the uh, the hop. Just kind of go over some of the stuff I did is the hopper itself, which is this part right here. It's uh, made out of aluminum. The, uh, the back plate itself is a piece of aluminum, which uh, aluminum doesn't go in gauges. They do it in thousands, which is actually pretty close to 11 gauge uh, thickness. Uh, the channels itself are the same on gauges. Uh, they're, I believe they were one inch by uh, two inch. Uh, architectural angle is basically what they call it. And what that basically means is you see that nice sharp corner you're getting right there that is what you get when you get the architectural style otherwise on a normal there would be a radius right in here uh, which is going to affect the function of this if you are not using that type um, some of the other things I did I did a lot of upgrades compared to the normal one that you can find a PDF on uh, one is of course I made the cabinet out of steel which I prefer that over wood I added uh, a carry handle on this so if you do need to uh, be portable with this you have a way to carry it around um, this one is same as the other one it does have a digital display for your uh, uh, kneeler drum which has the on and off switch and the uh, low and high sp control speeds on it which controls your kneeling drum. I also have another one over here which controls your uh, drum for the uh, case spear which also has an on and off with a high low speed on it. And then some of the stuff I added separate and I did all this where I mounted everything on the front. What I added was a proximity which is the orange dot right there you see. That's a proximity switch or sensor and that is connected in to a digital uh, counter which I also have a reset button on it um, this way when it comes down it'll come across it'll count your cases for you uh, the material I used for the feeding drum it's a uh, Delrin made by uh, DuPont uh, I started off with a two and three quarter uh, diameter round stock machined it down to uh, two and a half that way I could have a nice true uh, round on on the lathe um, I do have some prints on this but I did machine it's not even close to the design that he came up with because it's totally different design so I can't go with that one I do have a spot in there you can see it's machined that is relieved in there for uh, cases that have rims on it and I also machined out right here where it's radiused so it allows it to clear here when you have a smaller case because I actually machined this so this can handle your small cases like your 223 up to like uh, you know example 308 uh, probably even maybe a little bit bigger but when you have two small cases in here and it comes around, it'll actually catch if you have a hard edge on both sides and it'll actually jam and stop. Um, this is the style I went with on uh, the torch head mounting block and the adjuster. Uh, the mounting block has two set screws so you can pivot back and forth and lock it where you need for your fine adjustments and you can slide it back and forth on the rod for the length on the case 
and you can see there's a set screw there here and one on the back side you can't see and that is to hold the torch in place then I also have an adjuster bar right here with a 5 16th fine on it which I've uh, welded into the cabinet and that allows for forward and back and you can adjust up and down uh, as well on it so you can fine-tune the torch tip into the neck of the case um, I have two separate uh, hoses on this there's one from this torch that goes in comes around onto the right side of the case to a brass bulkhead coupling then I also added, added a 90 degree elbow and then and that's where that uh, other side has got a 90 degree elbow pointing toward the front of the case and that's where that hose connects and then I have a hose here that runs to your tank just kind of zoom out and see if it'll focus in there we go now the reason I went with the the bulkheads is so you can use different hoses on the outside that way if you need to run maybe a bigger tank like a tank on a grill you can connect it to that or some of the people that have propane <coughs> excuse me propane to their houses they can run a regulator to knock it down to low pressure they can connect it right to their uh, home propane back side of the cabinet what I use is on the two lower pieces or the two lower fans which have filters in them they're 80 millimeters squared and they both point in they cool all the electronics in there and then the top ones are just basically finger guards and that's where the exhaust comes out I also added a recessed uh, pole lever so if you need to take the back panel off you can take it off I'm gonna come back around this way to the front now on the left side I, I welded in a stud so you can carry or hold an extra drum because there's different you're gonna need different heights on the drums depending on what cases you're using I also added an hour meter which is 110 volt and then an IEC plug with an on and off switch which is your main power that's way you can uh, remove the plug or add any length plug that you need to it this is pretty much a standard type plugs that they're using a lot now on your TVs and uh, some appliances and stuff like that Uh, back in the front here I do have a main power light so when you do flip that power on that light will come on it's an LED it's 110 volt on that the rest of the stuff in here is all ran off the south power supply which converts the 110 down to 12 volt uh, my, I don't know what you really want to call it the K support arm uh, which is what your case rides on when it's in neon. I use a 516 time around stock. I bent it, heated it, bended it, cleaned it up, and I polished it. This is actually stainless steel. I didn't use steel because I figure since there's heat on it all the time, you know, to prevent the uh, rusting, I went with the stainless and it can always be repolished later. I'll flip this on real quick. Now you can see the power light is on. This is the case counter. There's your reset button. Uh, let me grab a case here quick. This is a conductive proximity uh, sensor. So it actually, uh, anything that's uh, brass, even uh, gold, aluminum, steel, stainless steel, all that kind of metal type material 
ferrous, non-ferrous will work off of it. I'll show you an example here if you watch the case thing and kind of look off to your uh, left. Every time that goes by, it counts it. This is a normally open proximity switch, so when it goes across, it closes, passes the power to your uh, um, counter, and it reads it. Like I said, here's your reset button. You push, hold, and zeroes it out. Easier on. Turns on your drum. Easier on for your feeder drum. It does have different speeds, so you can do it. I got 55 mile per hour uh, worm gear motors in this. Uh, they're pretty, uh, probably one of the higher quality ones. You can go anywhere from like a 35 RPM to a 55 RPM motor is probably your best. These are considered high torque motors. But as you adjust it, it'll adjust a zero to 100, which would be 100% of your speed. I'll flip these down to zero. So other than that, that's pretty much my version of the uh, do-it-yourself case annealer. Here's the back again, like I said, with the fans. You can kind of hear the fans running maybe in the video, I'm not really sure. But these do have uh, foam filters in it. These covers come off. You can uh, wash out the filters, dry them out, and, uh, and uh, reuse the filters. That just keeps the inside clean. This is the exhaust. I can feel the air blow, blowing out of it. But that's uh, my case. If you need any, or if you got any questions, just uh, feel free to comment. Uh, again, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.